Hey, what's up, guys? We're back again with a new meta strategy that has got pro players scared. This Skeleton King Swarm deck is one of the most played decks in the top 200, and it is ridiculously overpowered. If you don't have Skeleton King, you can use Cannon Cart instead. With Flying Machine to bait out your opponent's Fireball, Archers and Skeleton Army to bait out your opponent's Arrows and Zap, your Minion Horde can become an S-tier threat. Without spells to remove it, especially after the damage buff that it got recently, it can take entire towers. And if your opponents try to get wise with the wizard or some sort of splash damage, you've got the miner to snipe their ranged cards and slap them with a shovel. And with just one opportunity, your skeletons and minions will feel almost magnetic to your opponent's tower. With the miner tanking and the arrows paving the pathway for all of your bait cards, this deck is incredibly stressful to defend, even for the best players in the world, so that's why it's everywhere on top ladder. Let's go jump straight to some games and assert dominance. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. Thanks to everyone that's using Creator Code Sir Tag to make all the daily videos possible. You guys got a Mega Knight banner. Let's get it. You guys know the deal. Skeleton King swarms the Mega Knight. And the Mega Knight, even though it's got splash damage, there's skeletons on all sides and he doesn't even know where to tango. Are you serious? You're going to Mega Knight in the back first play? Bro, you're ranked in the world and you just don't care about your medals. You just don't care about your ranking. You're like... Let me tank all the way down. The Mega Knight jumps. I'm going to jump all the way to the depths of despair. Jeez, it's kind of weird to see that. Like, I just don't expect people to play Mega Knight so aggressively at the very start. Of course, he's going to have arrows, unfortunately. So I want to go and pop the Skeleton King ability so I can maybe keep the Skeleton King alive. And then potentially go in for archers here instead of going for arrows. So then I get some more counter push. Archers are going to be really good at killing all the bats as well. So... It's decent. It's okay. We do go into a Dark Prince. So this guy's got an assortment of splash damage that I wasn't expecting. I need to go for arrows here. Otherwise, the minions are going to present some pretty big problems. I think that we're able to kill everything. Let's go. So important to disperse our skeletons so the Dark Prince wasn't able to splash on everything immediately. Otherwise, I think we would have lost our tower there. The guy has arrows, Dark Prince, and also minions. So he's got a lot of ways of working through our swarm cards quick. And I don't really get scared by Mega Knight that much, even though he's dropping in the back like it's the most fearsome thing in this world, but I don't know. I'll just go Miner in the back on the same side. We're like, yo, we got a shovel. You got these like pom-poms with spikes on it. It's okay. You can be the cheerleader for your team. It doesn't mean that you're going to do much. So I should be able to get archers here, and then he's probably going to arrows on them. The good thing about archers is they bait out the arrows in a lot of situations that your opponent doesn't want to drop them. So now we can use our minion horde and be like, what do you have for us? What you got now, brother? Okay, he's going to go Dark Prince and pull. Um, pull what, right? Pull off a lot of damage for us? I don't know. That was pretty good. Because the minion's going to go and marvelously go backwards. Every second you're not running, I'm only getting closer. So then we can still get some tank for the Dark Prince and make sure that we can finish it off. So I'm going to use that minion to the most capability. Like, it killed the Mega Knight. It went to the right-hand side. It went back towards the Dark Prince. And now it's taking the tower. The journey of that one minion was absolutely priceless. That thing went for a plane ride around the world. This guy's going to go for another Mega Knight in the back, which is totally fine. We're just going to Skeleton King, and we're going to soak up all the archers after they die and all the other cards that this guy wants to drop as well. Usually, we don't want to go in for our archer split, but I didn't see any other situation that would work for us. So I'm going to go for Mortar on defense just to make sure that we have enough uh, to defend everything. And I'm going to go in for a Skeleton Army afterward, and then I'm going to go for archers. And I think I got to go in for a Miner on defense just to make sure that the Mega Knight doesn't jump. Wait, we don't even need that. I didn't need that. Huh, I guess I overcommitted a little bit. Wait, he doesn't have arrows in cycle, so what if I do this? Skill Horde. Pure skill. Skill King, Skill Horde. This is going to be set up for success, right? There's no way. There's no way he's stopping this right now. The Skill Horde is too strong. We're forcing out arrows again. He missed the minions. What the heck? Dude, also he's going to Mega Knight, and it's going to go and get blocked by the Skeleton Army for a while, while the minions and also our Mortar just put in work. This is incredible. Is he going to lose the skeletons? Is he actually going to lose to the skeleton army? The skeleton army on offense with the mortar that he's just ignoring? What the heck just happened? It looked like he ignored a mortar doing 1,500 damage on his tower. Sometimes Mega Knight players make no sense. But our successful minion endeavors put us at 5,800 in the world and earned us a lot of medals. All right, Doover, you got those lightning symbols. You know what that means. You better be rushing through or I'm going to remove them from you, bro. I'm going to start off being Zeus out here. Okay. I guess he's got the lightning symbols, not because he's a quick sir, but because he's got the Electro Spirit. At least that's what I'm guessing right now. So I'm going to fly machine and hopefully we can finagle our way to finish off the Phoenix. Oh no, that's going to respawn. My nightmares have only started and this is not going well. 
Fortunately, the Skeleton King has so much HP. Why is he lightning me? He's got lightning with giant skeleton. Okay, I thought I knew what your deck was. I thought it might be like a clone deck. Not a clone deck. There's no clone on this planet that runs lightning plus giant skeletons. So I think it might be Royal Giant if I had to guess, which would be a pretty good matchup for us if he doesn't have any answers to our skill horde. Please have nothing for this. So it's got to be Royal Giant after seeing the Zappies. So I'm just going to arrows here. Unfortunately, we weren't able to tap onto the Electric Spirit, but it's all good. Also, the Electric Spirit was another clue that I didn't pick up on on this murder mystery. We finished off the Electric Spirit, but I wasn't able to deduce that it might be a Royal Giant deck. Should have figured that out a little bit faster. I think my brain wasn't working fast enough. Even though we haven't seen the Royal Giant, it is definitely confirmed after seeing all these other cards. The Zappies just, you know, put the nail in the coffin for me. I'm going to go in for a Skeleton Army on the other side because he's going to log this, but then the Skeleton King will be able to get a lot of extra souls. So then it will really suck for our opponent because we sucked up all the Skeletons and we're throwing them back at him. This is awesome. Look at the Skeletons. Killing the big giant Skeleton. Yo, that giant Skeleton's a failure. He's not a king of the Skeletons. That's why he never got promoted to the Skeleton King. That's why he stays giant and absolutely worthless compared to our king. So I'm going to go in for likely nothing. I think that the archers are able to kill the phoenix. So then I can go for an aggressive mortar. And then he'll probably decide to go in for a log on the archers or he's going to drop something. Okay, that's unfortunate that he didn't log that. I was really hoping he would because then we would go in for... Oh, I misclicked. I didn't mean to do that. I really didn't mean to do that. Is that smart? Is it smart though? Because if he logs later, we can still collect the souls. We got a mortar shot. I don't know how that misclick of the skeleton army in the back worked out for me. <laughs> Sometimes misplays can be good plays because people don't understand what you're doing. And then they're like, wait, what am I supposed to do? I've never seen a skeleton army in the back before. It gave me so much time to prepare that I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm like, what do I do with my life? I have everything planned out ahead of me. Oh, that was funny as heck. All right, we can go for a mortar here. I think that's going to be successful for us. Maybe we can go for a skeleton king afterward. He's actually going to lightning on a mortar that didn't really matter. Oh, that was a really good log. Well played to our opponent, making that amazing play, making a preemptive log on top of the skeleton army before even seeing it. I guess he just knew what was going to happen. So I want to go in for the Skeleton King ability, and then I want to go for a Miner, and if he loses this Electric Spirit, he is going to lose the game. We need to get value with a lot of spam right now, because we are up so much. So I'm going to go in for a Fly Machine, because there's just so much stuff that he has to deal with, and I don't think he can stop it. I think the Fly Machine is not going to lock onto the Zappy. The Zappy's going to leave him. <laughs> Zappy's like, yo, I didn't sign up for this. I don't want to get slaughtered by a machine. That thing seems scary. Okay, so the archers are not going to die, so I can go in for the Skeleton King and uh, go for the Skeleton Army. It'll probably get an Electric Spirit from him, which isn't great for him because he probably wants to save that for the Minion Horde. Wait, wait, wait. We have a Graveyard in his tower for two Elixir! Get at me! And it's splashing as well! Jeez, that's so unfair! That's incredible! <laughs> I really enjoy this deck. It's so easy to play, too. Like, this is by far one of the easiest decks that I've played in a long time. He's going to go for Electric Spirit, and then we can just use the Skeletons. Even though they die, they still give us value. So it's like we take those negative Elixir trades and we don't even care. It's really dumb to say that, but like if your opponent kills your Skeleton Army, it's bad for them even if they use an Electric Spirit or a Log because then you go in for the two Elixir Graveyard and you just get value. So a little bit messed up, Clash Rail. You might have to fix the card, in my opinion. I think it's a little bit too OP. But uh, you guys can let me know in the comment section what you think. Would you nerf the Skeleton King, or do you think it's fair and balanced? If you think it's fair and balanced, you probably play the card. Let's just be honest for a sec. So I'm going to go for a Miner here. The Skeleton King is full bars. He's out here. He's better than Verizon. He's better than AT&T. He's better than T-Mobile. And that says a lot. We out here <laughs> destroying dreams and making memes. And we got that full bar reception with the Skeleton King. Just unloading his dominance on the tower. And that game is over. That was so easy. I don't think I've ever had an easier game against Royal Giant, but when you have so many bait cards, even with the Phoenix Death Bomb explosion damaging your bait stuff, the log coming through, it's never enough to stop you. And much like the Giant Skeleton Bomb, that matchup blew up in our opponent's face, putting us at rank 4,900 in the world. Let's keep up our streak. I read this guy's name as Swamp, and I'm like, bro, I'm about to swamp you with Swarm. And maybe it is actually Swample. I, I sometimes don't know how to pronounce people's names and I never want to like say it and then offend them because I usually do that. And I get so many comments where like, Jake, you don't know how to read English and it's your only language that you know. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a little bit of a failure, but it's okay. I'm your guys' failure. So I'm going to go in for an arrows on top of the Dark Goblin. He's definitely not ready for this. We're going to click the Skill King ability and we should be able to kill his Skill King. Are you even going to click your own Skill King ability or are you just going to let it die to skeletons? Uh, well, I had a nice thought of killing that, but it didn't work out. 
Jeez. So he might have a similar deck to me, but he'll have Log instead of Eros, which I think is incredibly inferior. Uh, you know, that's the reason why we're playing the Eros version, obviously. Look at the Fly Machine torturing our opponent and tangoing and taking some damage on the tower, too. I love how it just, like, spurs back and forth, and it's, like, floating in midair, and it's just, you know, it's just chilling there seamlessly, like, not really being that bit much of a threat. But if it locks on the tower, it can be the reason you win or lose games. So it's a great card. Also, this guy's going to end up having Skill Drill, which isn't that good of a matchup into the Skeleton King and Skeleton Army and all the other stuff that we have. So it could be a fun time. The only thing that's bad for me, the only thing, is the fact that he probably has Fireball for our Minion Horde. So don't know how much value I can get from that until I see if he's got Fireball or not, you know? I don't want to overcommit. I don't want to uh, zealously spam Elixir that I shouldn't be. Hey, do we go for the Skeleton King away from the Inferno Tower? I think that's going to be our optimal avenue. Because he's more likely to spam into that side. Okay, I got an arrows here. That's awful. I wanted to save that. That's a negative one trade. And it's also just like rubbing it in my face that the Skeleton King would have killed if he was just a little bit faster and it just didn't work out. I want to go in for a Fly Machine here so we can probably bait out the Fireball so then the Minion Horde can give us value. Nice. That's what we're looking for. Because now he only has Dark Goblin as a way of killing this. So if he spams a lot into the Minion Horde, we will get absurd value. Please be bad. Please be bad. Please be bad. Please be bad. You're not bad. You're playing really well, and I don't appreciate it. So we're going to go in for this. He pre-logs. He's so freaking good. What is up with this guy? He's living in my head right now. He still pre-logged, even though he knew that we had minions on the map. If he thought I was a little bit more aggressive, we wouldn't have gotten as good of a trade. I still am going to arrows here. I'm going to click the Skeleton King ability. He will likely click his as well. Okay. All right. We're forcing out the log. We might even kill a Skeleton King. Jeez, this is not bad. We take these, because he doesn't have log and cycle. What if I just do this? And then I go in for a miner. And then we have the skeletons tanking for the fly machine with the miner. And then we force out your skeleton army. This is definitely not boating as well as you want it to be, bro. Oh, this is going super well, because we can arrows on top of the dark goblin as well. Clean that up quickly. And then if he clicks the skeleton king ability, he forces me to do it too. Bro, I don't want to go in this like rock, paper, scissors duel of just fighting out in the middle of the map with Skeleton Kings. It's not a respectful duel. The most ridiculous duel. Jeez, what do we want to do? Do I want to go in for, like, Archers here just to protect it and see what else we can do if we go in for, like, a Fly Machine afterward? He's just going to consistently go in for logs. A little bit unfortunate. He's definitely going to log this. Why is he not logging this? I'm really confused. All right, we have to arrows just to guarantee that we can kill the, the wall breakers. It would have connected my tower, and I can't allow that to happen. If he's got Inferno Tower, it's hard for him to lock onto my mortar. So we're going to have the flying machine protecting us for a short period of time, which is not something you would want to say, like, flying machine, be a tank. But that's all we have. So that's what we're working with. All right, we're going to go in for probably like a Skeleton King whenever we get the opportunity. And then I think we can go in for like a Miner on defense and then potentially just stop everything. The Mortar locks out of the tower and the Miner soaks up the damage from the Goblins. This is going okay. Not going great, but it's, it's something I can work with, you know? You feel me? I'm going to consistently go in for Mortars when we have the Skeleton King tanking because he can't go in for Inferno Tower now. The Inferno Tower is not going to be able to snipe that. It's just not possible. Okay, so he's going to Fireball if we go in for a Fly Machine, which isn't really feasible for me. If I Miner, he'll probably get Skeleton Armied. Uh, so I'm going to go in for the Miner. I'm expecting to get Skeleton Armied and then... Hopefully he doesn't think about logging. Sometimes if there's a lot of stuff on the map, like if they're defending the miner, then they don't think about defending like, you know, their goblin drill. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to put him in a position where there's a lot of stuff going on in the map. So it's hard for him to pay attention to everything at once. He's probably going to pre-log this again. We'll have to wait and see. Um, the Skeleton King is going to give us a lot of value. I'm going to go and click the ability as well. And I'm going to go for an aggressive mortar just because it's going to be harder for him to snipe that with the Inferno Tower. Jeez, this game is really coming down to the wire and we are playing against a very good player. Uh, I kind of want to go for archers here, and then I can arrows, and then maybe we can have the mortar lock onto the tower if we're lucky enough. Because it's hard for him to kill this. What if we just spam mortars? Is this going to work? Because he doesn't end up having, like, log and cycle. So if he goes in for any of type of aggression, we just go skeleton army and everything dies. Because he's not going to be back to log in time. Okay, yeah, another win. That's kind of how this deck works. When you think that you're not going to win, you win regardless. And every game feels easier than expected. I was in complete control of that game, up like 2,000 damage at the end. So long, Skeleton King brother. We had to steal your medals so we can rush up the ranks. It's time to win every game we play today, guys. I want 2,000 medals, and if I win this game, I will get it. So this will be like four or five wins in a row, and I, I really want it. We did beat the number 15 player in the world, is a poron, but I'm not going to include it in the video because it was too easy. Oh. Electro Giant is just way too easy of a matchup. Maybe it'll be on my second channel or something, but not going to be on the main channel. So five wins in a row is what we're aiming to do here. This guy's going to have Giant Skeleton. We played against that before. I think it's going to be like 
Hog Rider with Earthquake and Giant Skeleton, if I had to guess. Look at how long the archers survived for. That was pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to go for a Fly Machine here, and I want to go Skeleton King at the river because I want to collect all the souls from the sorry skeletons that are dead. And we can go and rush at you with, like, a Tulix or Graveyard. So, feels pretty good. It's going to tank for the Fly Machine, too. Please? Please? Fly Machine, lock onto the tower! Okay. For the two elixir, we got some damage on the tower. That's not bad. It's not awful, you know? And we ended up getting his Archer Queen out of cycle. Wait. We just soak up the Archer Queen damage? Oh, that's awful. I have to arrow that. Okay. I feel really bad eating my entire tower. Now I'm down a thousand damage. Maybe I won't get my five wins in a row. <laughs> Hog Rider into a minion horde. I dare you. He probably knows our deck because all the top ladder players are playing it. So he's likely going to be scared. I don't know if he's got rail delivery or not. Oh, geez. He's going to have minor poison. Not good. No bueno for me at all. So that means I can't go for a minion horde plus minor because I'm just going to get a bad trade then. He's probably going to drop like an archer queen if I had to guess. Why is he giant skeleton instead? I'm so confused on that. I, I don't I don't know why he wouldn't go archer queen onto our mortar. I guess maybe it's out of cycle. That's probably why, right? He's got fire spirit, so I still don't know what version of the deck he's got. Give us a mortar shot before you die, mortar! Okay, uh, sometimes... The smoke blows up and you don't even know if like the shot is going to release in the last second. It's just unfortunate it didn't work out. We're going to go for a fly machine here. I fully expect him to go Archer Queen. I'm not going to get any value from this. It's dead. It's gone. Oh, maybe I lied to you. Maybe I can get value from this. He used a poison he didn't kill. The fly machine should lock tower. That was awful on your end. Oh my gosh, my friend. What you doing? That was awesome. We're back in business, baby. Sometimes that's all it takes is like your opponent overspending just once. And that was great. We can Skeleton Army here. We know that he's going to probably go in for something to kill that. So, oh, he lost his Archer Queen. Well, that's ridiculous. Uh, that shouldn't happen. Like, ever. Like, ever, ever. <laughs> so we can go in for the Skeleton King ability and then protect our Miner. Oh, he Minered on Miner? What are you doing, dude? This is a crazy place. Why would you do that? You're just trying to stop the damage at all costs. You're like, never can I take that. I can't afford to eat that damage. All right, we have the Minion Horde here. I don't think it's going to give us too much value, but... It will at least be able to attack the giant skeleton if he goes invisible. And the Archer Queen would kill my minions anyway, so it's not like I'm, like, missing out that much. So, I'm going to eat the damage because it's not going to be on the side that he wants. Okay, that was an amazing cannon. My arrows here, is this smart? I don't know. We're going to do it anyway. He did go for the poison. He expected me to go for, like, a skeleton army or something, but my slow reactions didn't allow me to do that. So, that's cool. That's always nice. I'm going to click the two licks or graveyard. Should be able to spawn a lot of skeletons on the tower. The archers are popping off against the queen. And there's a couple skeletons on the tower. Oh my gosh. He's dead. You're going to die just like the skeletons. They're taking you down with them. And we're going to air you. Pierce your heart. Pierce your tower. Pierce every aspect of your game and put you to utter shame. There's nothing more shameful than losing to two skeletons from a skeleton king. They had a party on the tower as they ripped the tower apart. And that puts us at 2,000 medals. Let's go, guys. We end the day in the best type of way at 3,000 in the world with zero losses. Like, subscribe for more daily videos, and have an incredible rest of your day. Oh,